Today I'm building a house with no game passes and a budget of 15,000. So this is going to be a very interesting challenge. If you look at some of my past builds, as you can see, they're very expensive and use a lot of game passes. So today is really going to be a challenge, but let's just jump straight into this. Luckily, we actually have exactly 200k, so it'll be easy to work out how much money we're using. So first of all, I'm going to turn advanced placement off so I can't accidentally use it because knowing me, I would. And let's start with the outline of the house. So I'm thinking this here could be like the front door and then a garage here and then I'm gonna add a little extension at the back here and let me show you what that is for. So do you guys remember ages ago the little building hack with the hollow roof? You can actually make a second floor without multiple floors so all you do is place this hollow roof then you lift it up to be really really tall and as you can see it's hollow inside then you add another roof so just a flat roof here and as you can see we've got a second floor and I promise you you do not need multiple floors to do that. Anyway the rest of the roof I just want to be a gable one and oh my gosh the roofs are so expensive 814 dollars for that guys and i've just realized at the back this looks ridiculous so i think to fix it i'm going to do the gable roof first then we might just have to put the hollow mansard roof going way into the build and yeah i think that looks a little bit better because now it looks like it's actually part of the roof so when it comes down to windows i think we're gonna have to get very simple ones maybe these because these are only 90 dollars so maybe we could have three along there that looks quite cute then two either side of the front door which we should also probably pick right now and I reckon that one is perfect and also what's the cheapest garage door this one $500 still right I really need to watch my money guys anyway we'll add the rest of the windows as we go I am gonna paint the outside now so maybe bricks here and then instead of blue we could have like some white panels over here and it is looking a little bit bland, so I'm going to add some wall trims, and we are just getting the cheapest ones, guys. Then I'm getting this $11 one for the top, a little bit more x but it's okay. And see, that has just transformed so much. And oh no, the only thing with this is I can't have it match on both sides without doing the whole roof again, and that is such a waste of money. You know what, I'm going to leave it for now, and if we have money at the end, we can come back and fix it. And honestly, I think that looks quite aesthetic for like a cute no-game-pass home. So we also need to add the pathways in. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize how far back I built this and that's all I'm gonna do for the outside now because I really don't want to run out of money before we even go inside so now we should probably build the layout so this is the entrance I want it to be open plan so obviously the garage needs to go in there it can only be small it doesn't need to be massive in here can be the bedroom because obviously this is the two-story area oh What's that roof doing in here? I think I am going to have to do this roof again. All right, guys, I think I fixed the roof and it actually looks a little bit better than before. And if we go in here, shall we look? <gasps> yes, we've got our two story thing. Anyway, so we'll continue with the layout. That's the bedroom. That's the garage. Then I think this should be the bathroom. And this looks really confusing. But basically, what I'm going to do is get some stairs and I'm going to get the cheapest one, which is a ladder. Then you're going to be able to climb up this. And I've just added a flat roof. And as you can see, it's like a second floor and then the rest is going to be open plan so i'm going to do simplish flooring in here so maybe some dark logs for the floors then for the bathroom floor maybe we could do some tiles or something also wall trims are very much needed inside because when you have such a small cheap house like it really does count adding the small details like this and we still use no game passes guys look advanced placement is off but anyway let's color the walls i'm thinking something really simple maybe like a gray plain wall so i think we should have the dining table on top of this carpet and then the kitchen here now i'm definitely using these counters because they're only 50 dollars more than this one and they have a lot more detail on them and oh my gosh this is where the game pass is going to be annoying i forgot so we turn it onto the small grid and then this allows us to place it it's going to be a relatively small kitchen we're gonna have to get this cheap oven which is <laughs> gonna take us 100 years to place in here then cabinet wise what is the absolute cheapest one it's this 60 dollar one. Oh, that looks so bad I've never used these tiny ones. What are you meant to fit in there, guys? Like an apple or something? Anyway, I do definitely want some windows along this back wall. Jeez, this kitchen looks an absolute state. Maybe if we give it all some colour, that could help. Mm, has that helped? I don't know. If we give this wall, like, texture, this could be, like, a feature wall. Do you think it would look better if all the walls were that colour? No. But I actually think having two, like, that kind of looks good, doesn't it, guys? And also our money. Like, what? What am I thinking here? We only have like 7k left and look, we've literally done nothing. Right, we need to like be a bit more smart. So we'll have a blender. Oh, I'm saying being smart and I'm buying all the most expensive stuff. Then in decorations, we can be really cheap and just add like some mugs. I think that kitchen's quite cute. Let's move over to the dining room. First of all, this carpet needs to change. Then what is the cheapest dining room table? <gasps> 
Only a hundred bucks. Then what chairs? I'm sorry, I refuse to use these. So I think the nicest next one is maybe these. Because otherwise, <laughs> we'd have to have a log as a stool. And that is not happening in this house. I mean, this table looks a bit like it's from the Stone Ages or something. Now, is there a cheap fruit bowl? 120. No, we're getting sauce. Anyway, we probably should add a door into the garage as well. And do we think we have the money for a kitchen island? I just don't know if we do. And I don't want to push our luck. I'm very quickly going to do the garage. So I'm gonna give this brick all around. And let's see, in my inventory, do we have a car? <gasps> we do. Is this cheating if I add one of these? I feel like it kind of is, but we'll just add it for decoration. Like this does not count to the budget. Then to actually add some decoration in here, hopefully there's a cheap storage unit. Maybe this one. Oh my gosh, we can't place it anywhere. Then on this, we can literally add the cheapest stuff. And there we go. I don't wanna waste too much money on a literal garage or garage. Then I will be getting this cheap light and you guys will not be shaming me for it. This is a budget build okay and over here we have the living room so we definitely need some more windows around here then what's the cheapest tv stand 30 dollars uh absolutely in my bank and the other day i literally shamed this tv but i think we're actually gonna have to get it because i know this one's 500 but it's like literally the same size anyway i, I definitely want a carpet for the living room and we can actually no we can't resize it because you can't resize without advanced placement, can ya? Maybe we'll just add two next to each other. So we'll have one there. Oh my gosh. How is this going inside each other, guys? Look, advanced placement is off. This is completely allowed. So I've got to watch my money because we have only got about $3,700 left. So we are going to be getting these sofas and we're not going to be shaming anyone for it. Excuse me. That is actually a cozy dining room. I mean, living room. Don't you worry, guys. I will be colouring these. And also, I'll be adding some pillows, which surely you can do this without advanced placement. Well, she can. Now, guys, I need something to go along these walls. Normally, I'd make a nice custom bookshelf. But if you think I can afford that, then please think again. We are going to be getting this cheap one. And maybe we could have some plants. And also, I haven't added a coffee table or anything in here. And right, before we run out of money, we only have, like, two grand left. So I'm going to be doing these rooms now. So this room here, if you're wondering, is basically just a little walkway to get into these rooms. And here's going to be the bathroom. So we'll do some nice tiles on the wall. And the bathroom budget is 500. So what can we get with that? We can get a shower. Oh my gosh, that's actually it. Okay, maybe we'll have to up the budget a bit because we need a toilet. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so bad with budgeting my money. But now we have $700 for this little upstairs bit. Please have a cheap bed. Okay, this one's only 180. There's actually a whole ton of space up here, not going to lie. Next to it, we need a chest of drawers. We'll give everything a splash of colour. I also want them to have a little chair up here. And if we can, we'll even give it a tiny little side table. And there we go. How much do we have left? Only $8. So we have spent the whole 15 k But let's go and look around. So from the outside, honestly, this isn't too bad. Like, I think it's quite aesthetic. Look at the sun. And then let's walk in and see if it looks good. So we have an entryway, if you can even call it that. It's like a bookshelf, a uh, plant and stuff. We have the lounge, which to be fair, this is actually more more detail than some of my lounges. Oh, she can even recline this chair. Why do you sit in it like that? I'm like, it looks like I'm squished into it. Over here, we have the dining room and kitchen area. Good thing we didn't add an island or we would have run out of money. And oh yeah, the budget of this whole house came to 13,000. Apparently we didn't even spend the whole budget. <laughs> Maybe it just hasn't fully updated yet. In here's the garage, which has nothing in it because I took the car out. Through here, we have the bathroom, which yeah, this does actually look like a prison or like an asylum or something. And the last room is up here. Again, no game passes to, to do this, guys. We have the bedroom, which this is actually really, really nice. Like, look how tall the ceilings are. We have a little reading area and a chest of drawers for your clothes and a bed. So you can actually sleep and get all your moods up in this house. But yeah, I don't hate this house at all. It's not my favourite, but it did turn out better than expected. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye!